Hey, hey, hey. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta apologize to y'all about the time mix up. But I am live now. I am here. I ain't gonna even cut the music on. We're gonna get into it. <laughs> hey, Miss E. They may have to um we may have to wait on them to come back, Miss E, because they was here earlier. But um, yeah, it seems like it's only okay. Hold on one moment. Hey, I said when I said, welcome back. Thanks for <laughs> hitting me up. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. Hey, LaToy, welcome back. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I said what I said, hit me up, was like, girl, where you at? I'm like, yeah, we going live at 5.30. <laughs> I was so confident with it. She was like, no, ma'am, your live is set up for right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, I'm so shamed, baby. Let me get over here and change it and let the people know. Oh, I'll be back at 5.30. <laughs> I need to start wearing my glasses because that three, I guess, looking like a five. I don't know. Hey guys, let me cut off the music. Again, I apologize <laughs> for the time conflict, but your girl is live now at the 5.30, okay? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Y'all saw the thumbnail. And I, and I said what I said. I even went in there twice because I had my generic thumbnail up first. 
and I went and changed the thumbnail and everything and did not even catch it. <laughs> hey, Joyce Matt. Happy Sunday, beautiful ladies. I do, I do, I do what I want. <laughs> I can do what I want. That was the mayor of Dalton is saying. That's what she says, girl. We're going to get on her. We. And speaking of the thumbnail, y'all see we have three city girls and politics up on this thumbnail today. We have a oldie and two newbies. <laughs> so we're going to do just a... um. Not a real, not really a recap, but just an update. We're going to do an update on our city girl, Mayor Tiffany. We are introducing two new ladies, Regina Hall, which is the one. I put names on it this time, y'all, because y'all know last time I said I should have had names on, on the ladies. We have Regina Hall, who was a commissioner in Orlando, Florida. Then we have Judge Christina Peterson, who was a judge in Atlanta, Fulton County. So we bought two newbies and we're going to do an update on Tiffany. Hopefully y'all saw my video that I did post of the meeting on April Fool's Day, April 1st. The special meeting that they held in Dalton County. <laughs> I think it'd be in a city hall. I'm not 100% sure, but um, that's what we call it here, city hall. So I'm going to just say that Maybe it's their city hall as well. And things did not go well, you know. But we're going to get into it a little bit more. Just wanted to get, um, give you guys the names. And I put them in the red, the white, and the blue. <laughs> yes, yes, that was strategic there. <laughs> Let me make sure I spoke to everyone before we get into it because I don't want to be rude. Okay, I believe I did. The judge is way out of control, way out of control. I don't even know what to say. I said what I said. <laughs> I don't even. That's the only thing that if we had to use one word, sis is out of control, period. Okay. So we're going to start with Tiffany. Since she is a oldie, we're going to let her go be the first up today. I already have my screen ready. Hopefully, StreamYard will be good to me and let us watch this short video. It's less than a minute. But before I get into the clip that I want you guys to see, I just want to say <laughs> that Tiffany said they can't veto, veto her. Um, they can't, excuse me, Tiffany said they can't investigate her. She vetoed them trying to move forward with investigating her. That's what the meeting on April was, April 1st was going to be about. It was a special meeting. Messy, I gotta hey, Lemon T. I live next door to Dalton. Okay, I can't look at the comments because y'all, I'm easily distracted. <laughs> so let's get back into it. They had the special meeting on April 1st, where um, okay, when we previously met before, when we introduced the city girls and politics, we discussed the board of trustees having a special meeting to but they had different things on the agenda but the the main topic that we were talking about was them proposing to have a third party to come in and do an independent review and audit over the financials they voted the ones that showed up the trustees that showed up they voted voted in uh, unanimously so i believe that means they could move forward with the next step well city girl tiffany said oh hell to the now now she came in on april 1st and vetoed that okay i don't know what else she did on the agenda because y'all know we kind of looking at the hot topics um as of now but she came in and she vetoed that i don't know if you call it a proposal i'm not really sure what the correct terminology is um but she vetoed the right to have a third party to come in and audit, review Dalton Financial uh, Independent Investigation, okay? So during the meeting, if you watch my video or if you watch any news coverage about 
this particular meeting at Dalton County, I'm gonna say uh, Dalton County, Dalton, Illinois City Hall meeting, it was all, it was crazy. It, I, it was a lot going on. The citizens, the residents were trying to get in. They were late. The meeting was supposed to be held at 6 30. It didn't begin to 7 15. Once they began to let residents in, they were letting them in, you know, very like a few at a time, you know, and they were also having to go through metal detectors. They had the, um, the metal detector wand to make sure, I guess, people weren't coming in with weapons or pow pows or whatever, you know, they wanted to make sure they protect everybody's safety. Okay. So all of those things to me held up the citizens, the residents, whatever you want to call them being able to get into the meeting to see what was really going on. I don't really want to say that was a diversion tactic or but it kind of appeared to be like they were stalling the people from getting in. And by the time, you know, they were letting people in, the meeting had ended. OK, the meeting was over with. So the people got rowdy. They were out there shouting. You know, they had their bull horns. They It was raining. You know, they showed the people showed up and showed out, you know, in my opinion, which they have the right to do because they are taxpayers. They have voting. They are the voters. Um, they are citizens, residents. They have the right to um, do it within reason. Okay, so I just wanted to like bring us up to where we are now. <laughs> okay, the next meeting is going to be tomorrow on April 8th. Okay, so y'all be on the lookout for any updates from me or the news outlets in Chicago. Okay. Yep, resolution. I had to pull those for the city of Tampa. Thank you. Thank you. I, I wasn't looking at y'all comments, y'all, because I, <laughs> I told y'all I'm easily distracted. Okay. Make, let me look at some of y'all. Okay. I saw these. I live next door to Dalton. Lemon T. Are you going to go to the meeting for us, Lemon T? Tiff will probably <laughs> grace her <laughs> with her presence in the chat. Yes. And just to um, piggyback off of that, I said what I said. Remember, I asked her when she did grace us with her presence in the chat on our last City Girl and Politics discussion. I asked her not to veto this damn um, resolution. I think that's what Miss E called it. And she told me she was going to do it. <laughs> Who does she think she is? She is the mayor. <laughs> Yes, please like the live, thumbs up the live. Hey, Vicky, happy Sunday resolution. Okay, y'all, thank you so much. Miss E, and um, I said what I said. Thank y'all. Because I'm like, I don't really know. I didn't want to call it a law. <laughs> Limit T said, um, no, ma'am. <laughs> I will not be down there. <laughs> but I asked her not to do that. She told me she was. I like just to piggyback off what we said in the past too. That I wish they could come to some type of common ground because the citizens do not deserve to be treated this way. They should not have to be, you know, in a hostile or. Uh, <laughs> town hall meeting you know they should um and it should be some transparency when it comes to how the citizens tax dollars are being spent and how they're being managed so i felt like the third party um investigation was a great idea because it's someone that's not biased they don't have any type of um favoritism when it comes to the mayor or the board of trustees they are just an independent party but again, for whatever reason, <laughs> Tiffany vetoed it, you know, so we will have to see if I guess the next step would be for them to I don't know if they can appeal the, her um, veto or maybe take it to a court or a higher court. I don't know what the next steps will be with that, but I definitely will be watching on tomorrow to get um, caught, you know, caught up to date and figure out what's going on from that point. Good, good. You do see some good changes. 
Tiffany is a nightmare mirror. <laughs> Please, Lemma, we need boots on the ground. <laughs> I'll send you some gas money, let me tell you. It's, look, I'll pay for per diem and a meal. <laughs> yes, boots on the ground. <laughs> but I understand if you don't feel comfortable going down that way. But it is good. Can you also drop down in the chat? Because we're always talking about the bad stuff. Can you drop down in the chat and just give us a few examples of the good changes that you've seen in Dalton? So we can represent both sides, be fair. So that's old. We're going to listen to this clip <laughs> that we have up here now. And then we're going to move on to Regina. I just wanted to give like a little update when it comes to Dalton. I'm not going to rehash everything that we've discussed and talked about in the past. I will be dropping the link. So if you want to come up. And, you know, it's too much to type in the chat or you just want to come up and say something, feel free. I will be dropping the link. Yes, the last mayor they had didn't do anything for Dalton. However, Tiffany needs to get the finances in order. Yes, I think it wouldn't be so bad if she would probably be more transparent with the finances, you know, and if there are, you know, things that should not have been purchased unallowable purchases they could go ahead and handle that that probably could have been handled without such media coverage because i know here hey april b i know here um some of these things probably could have been resolved earlier on but you know egos get involved sometimes when people get power um they it goes to their head they don't know how to work things out taking things personal when it's not personal this is business okay so a lot of factors i think have contributed to where they are now but what do they do now at this point like it's like no one um can sit down and come up with just a meeting of the minds to see how to move forward because the, the citizens should not be suffering well, you don't see those teenagers hanging out on the corners anymore. I see a lot of homes being renovated, and she has a lot of entertainment for the kids and seniors. Thank you, Lemon T. I appreciate you um, dropping down in the chat and letting us know um, some good, you know, things that are going on. Um, not just the, because with the media, only the bad things are being put out there. And we still love her because she told us that she loved us <laughs> the last time we talked about this. So, Tiffany, you know, we still love you over here. <laughs> Let me stop being messy. Let's move on. We we'll Watch this clip. Then we're going to move on to Regina. And I'm going to show y'all how they do things down here in the FLA, baby, down in Florida. Hold on. Let me get the clip started. Hopefully, I don't have an ad. They're killing me with these ads. Surprise. announcement and trustees is removing to hire former Chicago mayor Lori Light Okay, here we go. I'm going to start it over, y'all, because I don't, it was spinning for a, a great, I'm watching it from my phone, and I saw that it was spinning. Prize announcement. Dalton trustees are moving to hire former Chicago Mayor Lori Lyle. Trustees are moving accusations against the Dalton trustee accused of sexually assaulting another employee that allegedly occurred during a village sponsored trip to Las Vegas last year. Mayor Henyard, meanwhile, is accused of mismanaging funds and is facing multiple lawsuits. The Board of Trustees says it is because she is both a former mayor and a former federal prosecutor.
Now, the board will vote on the resolution at a special village board meeting Monday night. If approved by the board, Lightfoot's law firm will charge $400 per hour for her services. Okay, there you have it. That's the latest news that I saw in regards to um, Tiffany and that, not Tiffany, I would say Dalton. Okay. Um, hold on one second, y'all. Let me. Okay. Sorry about that. So now I got the right terminolo terminology resolution. <laughs> Okay, so we just watched a small clip. It was less than a minute of what the board is proposing, and that is to hire a former mayor of, I think, Chicago to be a third-party outside audit, review the financials. She has experience because she once was a mayor, so she has knowledge of what is allowable and unallowable expenditures for a mayor. Then she was a special prosecutor, so she has the legal background as well. I don't know about that $400 now. $400 an hour? I don't know if that is a great rate or not. Or I would have to, we would have to do some research on that because <laughs> is that the fair market price? Um, $400 an hour? I mean, that could rack up. I mean, maybe $250. <laughs> I can see maybe 250. I mean, because she is an expert. Her expertise comes with knowledge on both sides. But $400 seems a, a little high to me. But I haven't done any research to see what the going rate for that is. But <laughs> that does seem high. My scrutiny comes from her not turning over the records. Right, because right, Vicky, because if you don't have anything to hide then just be transparent with the people because it's their right. It's definitely not personal tiff. It's more for ish and giggles. <laughs> see, I see what you I see what you're doing. <laughs> I see what you said. <laughs> She's ready to show out. Right. The power is going to her head. That's what I'm thinking, Miss E. I'm so sick of Tiffany. $400 an hour is a lot. I was thinking that as well. Too much. Okay. Was she voted out? No, she's still working. That's why she was able to veto them <laughs> on um April 1st. And Miss E, the next meeting is tomorrow, April 8th. So we will have to, well, I'll be watching. Hopefully you guys will be watching too. If it's something for me to bring back, of course we will. But um, I think they're trying to appeal her veto. Tiffany Mouth is reckless, very reckless. Lori basically got pushed out of office also. Child, Lori says she'll come in and do it for 400 an hour. <laughs> April, yeah, 250. <laughs> Not the previous mayor that they are trying to hire. Yes, Miss E, the previous mayor. Okay, y'all, let me get my next slide up. <laughs> Come on, stream yard. Be good to me. Thank you. Up next is Regina. Miss E actually um inboxed me and sent me Regina's um <laughs> this Florida tea here, y'all. I had not heard about her either. I'm so worldwide with it, baby. <laughs> I'm missing out news right here in my own state. And Regina is a county commissioner. And she was down there praying on the elderly. I'm trying to. Oh, I was trying to mute the mic.
Hold on, y'all. I am back and I'm getting ready to share the screen. Hopefully StreamYard will be good to me. Up next is Regina, County Commissioner Regina Hall. She was a County Commissioner in Orlando, Florida. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let the um news tell y'all about her. Her and I'm gonna be down in the chat chatting it up with y'all. I believe this video is very short as well, maybe about two and a half, yeah, about two and a half minutes. Oh, so breaking right now, I'll go. Governor Ron DeSantis has suspended Orlando. Commissioner Regina Hill just days after she was indicted on the slide it back. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna slide it back a little, a little bit. in the integrity of the legal process and faith in God. is unwavering. And I'm Dream yard don't want to be nice. I know, don't want to be nice, Miss E, but you know it. You know what I'm finna do. There's more <laughs> As my girl, I said what I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> one monkey ain't gonna stop no show. <laughs> this is what I'll do here. Governor Ron DeSantis has suspended Orlando City Commissioner Regina Hill just days after she was indicted on criminal charges. Just moments ago, we received a statement from Hill saying in part, my confidence in the integrity of the legal process and faith in God is unwavering, and I'm deeply moved by the support from our community. I will wait for my day in court when I'll be able to prove my innocence and that I always acted in good faith. Well, she's tonight, Gabriel Gettys was at the first city council meeting since Hill's suspension, and tonight the mayor says they will now work to find another person to fill her seat. Yeah, the city council will hold a special election next month where someone will be selected to temporarily serve District 5 until Regina Hill's criminal case is closed. Now at the city council meeting today, Mayor Buddy Dyer said the allegations against his colleague come as a shock. We have been notified that Governor DeSantis entered an executive order under state law temporary suspending Commissioner Hill. Before getting to business, Mayor Buddy Dyer shared how the city council had just learned that one of the seats will remain empty. It's been four days since Hill was taken to jail on criminal charges, accused of taking advantage of a 96-year-old woman living in her district. As a city, our focus is ensuring the residents of District 5 are appropriately served and represented. At the meeting, one resident shared how he and his community have been let down. Very heartfelt very disappointing. This is not fair to the disability community that one of our very own commissioners that we actually looked up to, that actually said that she was one of the biggest supporters of the disability community, 
would even do something like this. Hill posted bond last week after she was indicted on charges that include exploitation and mortgage fraud. Florida Department of Law Enforcement spent nearly a year investigating Hill. State agents say Hill spent more than $100,000 from the victim's savings and used the money on personal things like a facelift, a hotel stay, and dental surgery. At a news conference in Miami Monday, DeSantis said the indictment triggered his decision. If she's convicted, then she's out. Uh, for good. If she's exonerated, then she can come back. Regina Hill showed up to City Hall Monday, but following the suspension, she couldn't take her seat when the council meeting began. Uh, it makes me sad. I was pretty stunned by the allegations in themselves. It doesn't seem like Commissioner Hill to me. She's been a caregiver. She's been a nurse. Um, she fights hard for her district. Now, May 21st will be the day the council will decide who will serve the District 5 City Commission seat. But next Monday, the council will hold a special meeting to begin the process of finding qualified candidates. We're live in downtown Orlando. Snake of Regattagus. Question news. See, that's how we do it down here in Florida. The people be removing you, okay? We got the governor involved. <laughs> they launch an investigation. What? Why can't we see this in other parts? I don't. I don't get it. Okay. Thanks for answering my question, April B. That's why she is is charging that much. Okay. I saw her news clip. She is disgraceful and needs to go to church to ask for forgiveness. <laughs> oh my God. I know y'all stream y'all don't want to act right, but y'all know I'm gonna find a workaround. Oh, yeah, that was our other girl that we talked about, April B. <laughs> she know the governor of Florida don't play, so I don't know why she tried to do it in the FLA. <laughs> I'm going to have to step out of that chat. Unfortunately, I have company now. Oh, bye, Joyce. <laughs> have a good evening, ladies. We'll talk to you later. She knows the sense is not fond of the black <laughs> and knows he is waiting to kick her out of office per se, allegedly. <laughs> we are going to miss you. Oh, that was so Joyce. Enjoy your evening. Yeah, she'll catch the replay probably as well. Have a good evening. Yes, Joyce. Really? Yes. Cosmetic surgery. And she don't look no better. I'm sorry. I tried to find a good picture of her. Let me see if I can run it back. Baby, she need to go get a refund for this uh, plastic surgery. Uh, I'm trying to get it where she's walking out that door. There she go. She need her ass whipped. Oh no, that's the other one. Yeah, she did um do for her district. But gotcha, gotcha. We covered her last week. I'll get her name. The one that um pow pow the husband. <laughs> I said what I said. She need a refund. Come on, a ding on plastic surgery. Do it look like they did a great job? What did she get done? Maybe she got it done on the body, not the face. I don't know. But my point, thank you, Miss E, for um sending this one to me. Is seem like here they sprung into action. They removed her from her seat, number five. It we saw that it was vacant. Um, they are investigating her. She cannot come back until she is found guilty so if she i mean excuse me innocent so if she's found guilty of course she's never coming back but if she's found innocent governor DeSantis says she can re return to her seat yes that was a judge um april b so i would like to see this type of action taking place in dalton and to and when we get and we 
in some of the other city girl in, in politics that we follow. Because in some incidents, they were just doing things, doing things until they just, you know, had done so much that they had to take action. But here, I I hate that it's a black woman or whatever, but I am glad to see that the governor did step in, did remove her, made the public aware of what's going on, and that she's being investigated. Of course, she is has been arrested as well, so that could have also sped up the process with them removing her, and that um, if, you know, the the solution or the ending would be if she's found guilty or innocent. So I do like that, but you know, she got a facelift. She um, was stealing money from disabled elderly people, which are the most vulnerable people around. She, um, I just don't think that's right. Florida ain't got time for <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> she looked tore up from the flow up. She need a refund. She need to get that money back and use it towards her legal um <laughs> against her legal um defense. Florida ain't got time for the black people to be taking funds, causing it. It takes away from the clear politicians, allegedly. That could be it. I said what I said. That could be it. But thank you, Miss E, because she was not even on my radar. So I do appreciate you sending that one to me. We can go ahead and check off two of our city girls. <laughs> Because when we get to this one, um, April, the one that you're talking about, oh, let me remove that comment. And I said this when I did this um, live, um, our first City Girl live, the politics live, that I should have put the names on them because I knew I was going to forget them because I am bad with names. Uh-oh. You're talking about this one right here with the blonde shortcut. She's the one that um had the pow pow issues. Okay, so we gonna check off Regina and Tiffany. We're gonna move over here to Christina. <laughs> Yes, the one with the glasses. <laughs> Baby, Christina had a whole lot, whole lot going on over there in Fulton County. See, Nesto been trying to tell us they not right over there. And she was a probate um judge. Judge Christina Peterson. And again, she was a probate judge over in Fulton County. And she is currently, you know, being charged or under investigation or allegations of misconduct. And the amount is definitely an outrage. It's ridiculous. I think at one point they had 50 allegations against her and i believe it has been reduced down to maybe about 30 but when they began the investigation it was at 50 um incidents that um they could tie her to that they were investigating her on and i mean she's been removed from the bench she has not been disbarred <laughs> Yep, Conesto and Fannie Mae, them ain't right. <laughs> she has not been disbarred, you know, at this time. She just been removed, you know, as she is under investigation. And she has had several different um, interviews and, you know, dispositions. And I just don't understand why these ladies are taking this route. Like, do we all know that, you know, I feel like women are just like one of the smartest creatures on earth. They can't do nothing without us. So when we get in these positions, I really wish they would know that they are under the microscope. People are always looking at them. 
well, I would say us because I'm a black woman. They're always looking at us. They're always waiting to point the finger at us as, you know, we've done this wrong. They never want to tell us when we're doing things right. We already know this. So when you get in these positions, you have to walk, walk a thin line. You can't teeter tot. You can't make costly decisions that land you in these type of legal ramifications in these legal positions it's crazy to me when i was in um doing my little investigation so i can come on here and talk to you guys about all of the allegations that she has this is really crazy before she even got you know before she was voted in to be a judge in the probate she already would had questionable um activities or questionable situation scenarios going on over on her social media platform she had a rose bar situation she would post sexy photos she on her birthday she um posted a sexy photo and asked people to send her money like cash apps sales you know you know the different type of money um transfers um you can get um she impersonated <laughs> A white man, I would, I call it the white man homosexual skit. She was on Ready to Love, where she was on a dating reality show, and these were some things she done before she became a judge. So I don't know. I I would say that these things did not come out. If they did come out, they were overlooked. <laughs> I don't know, you know, because she was voted in. Um. Christina posing all over Instagram, posing in a two-piece bikini. Yes, and saying, send her money because it's her birthday. Or meet her down at the bar. <laughs> Miss E, I'm just saying, girl, It's y'all going to hear it when I pull it up. <laughs> and I mean, if she was going to put herself in the runnings to become a judge, I I don't know like why she didn't think any of these things were questionable or I would say morally because maybe there's no law against them because she does have the right that we have like to say things, uh, due process, amendment, amendment one. I don't know like. Because when a lot of these laws were written, of course, we didn't have social media. So now that we have social media, I don't think a lot of the laws have been updated or a lot of the policies and procedures have been updated to um, include what is what what is behavior becoming of an employee or what is allowable and unallowable but i would think if i was running for a judge i would not um want to put this type of content out um and i would have cleaned it up i mean before i even put my head hand in the pot <laughs> my name in the pot i would have tried to clear this up because things like this do come back on you but I, the the thing that I don't get is how they're going to use these things that happened before she was voted in now against her. Because if it wasn't used prior to, I don't see how it could be used now. It shouldn't even be bought up. But again, this is what happens. That's true. The law needs to catch up. I don't really know. Because <laughs> again, she does have the same rights as we do but they are held to a higher standard though so if you're in a position that people look up to that you are making decisions like a judge in people's lives i feel like you can't be out here with the only fans you not that she was i'm just saying uh only fans or doing put posting questionable things especially like i said the um uh, homosexual white man skit what if somebody in your um came in there with a will situation or a probate situation and you're the judge and they're gay? Like, how am I supposed to even respect you and take you seriously when you're speaking against my community? I don't I don't understand it, but um, of course I'm not a judge, but I am a public um employee, I guess. <laughs> so I do have um a code of conduct that I have to follow, but 
I don't know what she was thinking. I'll just put it like that. I don't know what she was thinking. Now, after she joined the bitch, <laughs> this is where, again, I don't know if, like we were saying earlier, the power um, go to their head. Um, now you you have the right to um, make decisions over other people's lives. You have access to money and cards that aren't yours. So this is where things switch for me with her. You know, now that you're on the bench and how you're moving and decisions that you're making. She was in court crying, saying she was never, ever celebrated, congratulated. So she had to go to social media for attention. She did say that. She did say that. But now since she's been on the bench, like I said, she had at the beginning like 50 allegations. These are some that were stuck out to me of course i'm not going to list all 50 <laughs> but these are some that stuck out to me and this is not in any particular order like by date these are just incidents that um i noted while i was doing my research for this live okay so after she joined the bench these are some things that they have um they are using um in her determination if she's going to be able to keep her spot on the bench or not or would she be removed okay she hit the panic button one day i call it the panic button violation it appeared to only be one time and she had scheduled to have a bailer or a sheriff to come and ex escort her um to a different area i'll just say a different area and she hit the panic button. The panic button is supposed to be for emergency situations. Like when that young man was, I believe it was in Vegas, and he jumped over and attacked the judge. That would be an incident, an emergency that a panic button would need to be utilized. Not just for what she used it for. They spoke to her about it. <laughs> and she, you know, she noted it and she had not used it again. And that is one of the things that her attorney is using as a defense like she didn't know that and once she was told she didn't do it again obstruction of public records letting a couple in the courthouse after hours to marry them <laughs> that one was a big one because according to um the other employees that were interviewed, you know, <laughs> about this incident, she was told that she could not do this. She could not have someone to come into the courthouse after hours due to security, you know, all, all these things, yet she did it anyway. Um, so that is another incident. That's a big one. We'll talk about that one again a little later. The sue letter, she she liked to sue people, y'all. So when she cannot get her way, <laughs> or she could not get um in this particular case, she was trying to get some software that she wanted to use for um keeping her records and tracking her records and keeping documentation. And they were not moving fast enough, so she did a sue letter saying she was gonna sue them, as in you know her employer and coworkers. <laughs> The email to Judge Emerson, they said it had very strong language. <laughs> and she also requested to have a sheriff to come escort her at 3 a.m. in the morning. Where she was going, I do not know. So that is something that they um, said was an unallowable um, allegation or it's an allegation to have her removed because she's not making good judgment calls. She did not have a P card, but she did have a card where she could put expenses on there. And they also had some unallowable expenditures on there. Now, this is the another biggie. In her probate court, she had a young lady that was trying to update her marriage license. She wanted to include her father that she had just learned that he was her father. So she wanted to go back and update her marriage license to say, you know, to name her dad. And she had the lady arrested. The lady spent two days in jail 
but she gave her a sentence of 20 days for what she said was lying on her application, falsifying her application. So those are some of the biggies that I listed. Of course, I have a video, but since StreamYard don't want to be good, y'all know I got to do my work around. <laughs> Your laugh gives me the rumples in the tummy when the pool. <laughs> April, listen, people always tell me, like their laugh is contagious like it <laughs> i be trying to hold it in are they trying to take her law license also not at this point right now they're just trying to have her removed from her uh her bench hey succeeded welcome welcome Okay, let me get my clip ready because I got to do my work around now. <laughs> let me get the right video. Here's how much I do. I'm good, succeeding. How are you? <laughs> Extraordinary development tonight in the long running investigation into Douglas County Judge Christina Peterson. In a rare move, a hearing panel decided Peterson is guilty of, quote, systemic incompetence and should not remain in office. Fox 19 reporter Randy Travis explains. <laughs> Christina Peterson did not do herself any favors during seven days of hearings beginning last September. The JQC hearing panel's report criticized her for not taking any responsibility for the 30 counts of judicial misconduct lodged against her. I just don't have a memory of something like that. The most troubling wrote the panel. Peterson signed to amend her marriage certificate to include the real name of her recently discovered father. Did you go to this hearing um, with any idea that you may be going to jail? No. P.J. Skelton served two days of a 20-day jail sentence for contempt before her husband could pay a $500 fine. Why? Such a hasty and shockingly disproportionate reaction is the hallmark of Peterson's intemperance, wrote the panel. It's the report criticized Peterson's attempt at this meeting to get her HOA board to settle a lawsuit she had filed, even though she knew the HOA was represented by an attorney. Peterson's attempts to avoid responsibility for these clear violations bordered on the farcical, severely eroding her credibility with the hearing panel. You cannot go in this building, and eventually she went in. The sheriff's office said Peterson ignored their orders and held a wedding after hours, allowing people inside without deputies present. She once hit a panic button when a deputy was late escorting her to court, causing a temporary panic among security. And when county staff criticized her actions, it quickly triggers allegations of obstructionism or even racism. These communications and actions reveal a judge who publicly vilifies colleagues, is quick to threaten them with unnecessary legal action, and generally projects a spiteful and vainglorious persona. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. I was never celebrated or congratulated. There she goes. I was the first when, on my day of swearing in. I was sworn in by Judge Emerson. I received my first JQC complaint. Peterson's main defense was her inexperience as a judge, a problem she promised has been addressed through additional training. But the panel was not buying it. The report also cited multiple examples of failure to actually do her job, needlessly delaying petitions before her office. The hearing panel said Peterson was guilty of systemic incompetence. Judges are expected to act in a manner that promoted the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary. Respondent has shown that she cannot or will not do so. And so she must go. Peterson has 20 business days to file exceptions to this report with the Georgia Supreme Court. They're the ones who will ultimately decide whether to take the recommendation to have her removed from office. I talked to her attorney, Lester Tate. He told me they disagree with the recommendation and they will take it to, quote, the next level.
Okay, that was Fox 5 News, guys. <laughs> we got one more, and then, of course, I'm going to drop the link if anyone would like to come up. Yes, yeah, spare the tears. Like at the end of the day, I mean, your basically her defense is that she didn't know certain things. She didn't have anyone to mentor her. Her she didn't have um, and when she was told something, she did not repeat it. She did not do it again. L lack of knowledge. <laughs> Yes, that's Christina Peterson, um, Vicky. I bet she doesn't know how to write a brief to respond to the charges. She has an attorney. <laughs> Celebrate it. That has nothing to do with your job duties. God is cheering for you, and that's all that matters. Right? Sometimes you have to give yourself a pat on the back. You know, everybody's not going to be there um, with roses and balloons and bullhorns. You know, you... <laughs> You got to learn how to have some self-gratification, okay? And this is work, you know? This is the one I wanted to show y'all with the pictures on it. Come on, I'm going to try anyway. <laughs> Are you sure you're ready for your clinical rotation? This is the I one I wanted to show y'all with the photos. I'm going to try. I'm going to see if StreamYard will give me another chance. And I mean, she should have took the job because she wanted to make a difference and help people, not because she wanted people to just like celebrate her, throw throw out rose petals and <laughs> give her a coming to America moment. Like, sis, you got to just go ahead with your job. Oh, and not to mention, she's getting paid like 200 and did I write it down in my notes? She's getting paid like 250 some thousand dollars, they said, which is like the highest paid. Um, so that should have been um that should have been something for her to celebrate with your paycheck man <laughs> come on sis okay Come Okay, I got my fingers crossed that it's going to work.
I'm just talking and I was on mute. <laughs> okay, here is the young lady that spent two days in jail because she was trying to update her newly found father's information. She wanted to add him to her marriage license. So this is her. She spent two days in jail. She gave her 20 days in jail, but she bonded out after two days. She had to pay $500 to get out. I was trying to find y'all some more of her sexy pictures. <laughs> her sexy photos. I showed y'all two of them. Here is another one from her Instagram. Black and educated Bay official Christina. <laughs> so there's this is to show y'all some of the things I wanted to show y'all that I wasn't able to. He's just reporting from outside. This is the wedding. Her letting them in after hours. You can see her walking over there to open the door. That's her. She need no escort then. This is the couple. That's her at the HOA meeting where she's threatening to sue them. <laughs> Let me come back and read some of y'all comments. Want to exit seating everything with your dad goes. Oh, wait a minute. I pray everything with your dad goes well here on out. I do too succeed in you don't have a rule and regulations book. Hell, Google. <laughs> she needs a hug from her mama. <laughs> Tiffany don't learn. Yeah, Tiffany don't learn. They have to show her. Listen, she from the show me state. No, I'm just kidding. Oh no, is everything okay with your dad succeeding? She probably want people to bow down because she is a judge, right? Abusing her power. Because, I mean, someone trying to update their paperwork just to include their newly found father is not illegal. She said she did not know the man. I don't know if she asked for any proof, but you act like she was coming in there to update that she had previously been married and she didn't state that on the application like Nesto, okay? So why would you arrest her? And give her the maximum time. Like she's not even in a criminal um law. This is probate law. Well, whatever. <laughs> Come on, sis. And I had a bad sweet tooth. So cookies sound real good right now. <laughs> Go find some sugar-free ones, Miss E. <laughs> That's what it's giving. I said what I said. I think I fixed the sound. I usually make them for my friends. I'm baking this week to surprise a few friends. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, I fixed the sound. That was a while ago. Yeah, it had put me on mute. Did girls bully her in high school or something? Because that is crazy. Real crazy. <laughs> I don't know how old she is. Um, I'll try to find out. Um, I said what I said.
Pencil pusher judges and she she drunk on the power. That's the only thing I can conclude. It's like, come on. Like, why are you abusing, you know, your your um and taking advantage of people? Like that lady did not deserve to be in jail for no two years. She did not deserve. I'm sorry. She did not deserve that. Like, you were, like, what was going on in your mind? Like, you're not, I mean, no investigation or anything. Like, you literally just, and here, oh, here's the document, y'all, where she said, Father name should be, I can't read her handwriting. I don't know if that's a W-A-S-U-S-A-M-E-R-J-A-I. That's her husband. That's Tate. He's a part of the investigation. That's her being sworn in. <laughs> Here are some of the transactions from her corporate card. She did not have a P card, but she do have a corporate card that had some um, unallowable expenditures on there. Savannah Airport is what they have right there. Some parking, some insurance payments. So they're saying that she has a $4,458.85 of disputable um, charges. See, I just go ahead and just step down. Like, I <laughs> one thing about me, baby, if you got some, you got something on me, I'm not gonna want my shit aired out. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm step down. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. this will go in the um, this can just go in my little file, you know, it's never being able to be my personnel file where they won't rehire me. I'm sorry. I will sue. It's civil. <laughs> exactly. These ladies both got bobbleheads. She is not Clarence Thomas. What is she thinking? <laughs> Listen. It's so much. It's so much. I was like, I don't understand. Like, I hate having to come on here and talk about this topic. But, you know, it's one that we love to discuss. It's something hot going on now. So we are definitely talking about it, having a conversation. <laughs> I'm going to link um, these videos, so if y'all want to go look at them without having to search and see, you know, some of the evidence and see how they explain everything, I will do that. I also found her hearings that she um, did in September, and her attorney, he was giving it his, all college, his, his old college trial, <laughs> he was really um, giving it his all and trying to defend her against the board because they didn't have a jury there oh i have my first guest hey succeeding hey how you doing today hey hey child i'm doing good good hey i said what i said girl she what is a mess succeeding? she's a mess i was gonna ask you in uh we spoke on three um City girls today. Um, I know you came in late, so you may not be familiar with the one in Orlando, but of course you are familiar with Tiffany, so you can speak on both. Girl, both. no, I'm not talking about nobody in Florida now. I don't talk about the Florida people, honey. 
We oh did. <laughs> Baby, you know about our Florida people. Oh, that that I know what's going on in Orlando. <laughs> but that she was handled with the quickness. Okay. Yes, she I, don't was. Know <laughs> I was surprised how, how fast they handled her. I wouldn't. Are you watching? <laughs> yeah, no. Girl, they be waiting. This good old South, they be waiting on you to show out so they can, you know, snatch uh snatch their card back. Well, you know, Florida sets the standards, so you know we don't play when it comes to handling criminals. <laughs> mm -mm, no, no, not at all. But with the judge, all she had to do was come in, sit down, and do her work. She negotiated her the highest salary of yes. two thousand. Sixty-five dollars, eight hundred and sixty-two dollars and fifteen cents. Right, and all the other judges were already upset because they didn't yes. feel that she deserved that salary. So they Absolutely. were already upset about that. Absolutely. All she had to do was put her head down, come in, and do her job. Okay, so <laughs> Lady Peabody. Go ahead and sing All Eyes on You from Tupac. All Eyes on Me. <laughs> That's it. You know what I mean? You know how, like, when you're trying to just stay out incognito, you just put your head down and you just act like you're doing your work. That's all she had to do. And fake it till you make it, baby. And you know, because she knew she did not have the experience, but the previous judge, what he did was with the money that she got because you know she got the um one hundred and thirty nine thousand four hundred and forty seven for doing the vital records the marriage yes. licenses and that with the other judge that was prior to her he gave back half of the money to the general fund judge emerson correct but she said i'm keeping all of it mm -hmm. and did and kept it and kept it so that showed you know, that shows a lot right there about your character. Then she tried to sue her own HOA. Uh, girl, wait, sue them. Girl, they got money coming, $43,000 garnishing her checks. She is something she else. Is. I mean, you, you, she making a, you know, she, it's like she just, uh, everywhere she goes, she's leaving a trail of crap. Trailing, you know, everywhere she walks, she's leaving a, a trail of poop behind her, right. behind herself. And but I don't you, understand it. And then going to go get on there and start uh, doing those crocodile tears, pulling the race card and talking about nobody celebrated her. Well, ma'am, if you want a celebration, you're going to have to show yourself approval. Right. And like you say, if you're going to make the top salary, they're going to they're going to expect uh, the top employment. Correct. And um like you said, you always have competition, no matter what job you have. So if you're the best one on the team, you got to show yourself approval. You better be the best on the team and make exactly. them keep if that's the road that you're going to take. Exactly. You go, you're going to talk to talk, then you got to walk the walk. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You got that right. Because exactly, because she had not she had not proven herself. Mm -hmm. And because you, you were not going to be celebrated because people were not happy about that higher salary and in addition to that you saying oh no i'm not going to give back to the general fund i'm gonna keep this all for myself so that gave them a certain opinion of you as well well i don't know too many uh absolutely people, i don't know too many people of color i'm sorry that's going to mm -hmm. give back their salary i don't even think obama gave his salary back well you know what I can't say that because um, I think we talked about it on here and I talked about how Harold Washington, right. that's not, that's not true. Cause we're not all selfish people. I, I, know, say all of us, I say not too many. I, I think it depends on if you need the money. Cause Obama was giving away a lot of it basically. Cause he was donating it, you know, to do, and that's basically give, you know, so you may find different ways that you give it back. But Harold Washington, when he became mayor of Chicago, he gave back his first term. 10 percent of his salary yeah but that but you know succeed i don't want to argue with you about it i mean it's not an argument but i'm just saying that they those guys are kind of like needle and haystacks 
but I'm just saying it's not that many people. And there is some people that are philanthropists and give back. And, you know, I'm not saying that that I'm just saying it's kind of rare. And um, I, I that type with her being her age, I could never see her giving back anything. And it, the way she's crying wolf, you know, she said she was never celebrated or it's, it's like um, she don't feel like that they deserve her. In other words, you know what I mean? Yeah. To me, that's the attitude she has. Like, nobody never celebrated me or congratulated me. That's and, an excuse, so that's just a cop out after the fact. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Just like um the other card that she's playing. Oh, I don't know. I didn't know this. You know, all of that because they told you certain rules and you still disobeyed them. They specifically said no access after hours. And right. then get you once on time you press the panic button you know so you're just all over the place she said I mean, she yeah I'm not, I'm, I'm not talking about the blatant behavior i'm just talking about some of it you know as far as you know like when you're on your job you know like some people on the job they know some other job but they don't know all of it right mm -hmm. and i think that's what her situation is I think she just knew the basics of the job, didn't really look into, you know, finding out what the job really was. And, you know, sometimes you can get by if you fudge and seem like that's what she was doing. And she want to be celebrated for, you know, like uh, being the one to, who earned that type of money that she earned. And right. so what I was saying on that is if you're going to do that, yeah, hell, your other employees going to be mad and going to be looking at you and anything you do, they're going to go and report you or what have you. So. Uh, she definitely uh, got some type of complex about herself. I don't know what, you know, I can't put my finger on it, but it's like she wanted everybody to bow down to her for some reason. Yeah, and you know, and the thing is, is that you've already, you've, you've said that you're worth more because you have this degree and you have these credentials. So since the other person prior to you had no experience and came in and did the job, you can't come and have step. Absolutely, you can't. Yeah. I mean, if that Judge Emerson was still around, so she probably could have, I guess if she needed, maybe could have been asking them to mentor her or something. I'm not sure, because, you know, sometimes they don't want to mentor So us. many, you know what I mean? So many, there are other Black judges in that area that I'm right. sure she would have asked. Well, anybody, though, wouldn't it? Because with that type of job, it's kind of like, you know, when you, uh, you know, the popo, they go to training and then they ride with someone, you know, for a, a while before they get their own squad car, before they get their own partner. And so some jobs, unfortunately, it, it has to be that way, you know, and she might not even decide it. You know, they probably offered her a hand, but she, a, a, a lifting hand, she probably turned them down. Right. She it all. She yeah, because. We all need a mentor in our careers. And so that is no different, you know, from that, where she could have a mentor. It's so easy to find a mentor. You know, one thing I learned years ago is you don't have to like your mentor. You just have to respect them. And them, yeah. yeah. I'm looking through my notes. <laughs> you know, I thought. Just enough. And the birthday thing, asking for money on her birthday and then acting like she didn't know that was her personal account. Right. Yeah, and spending that money. Cash out. It made me to spend the job money. You know you can't. Well, no, nah, that, that wasn't her. That was the other chick. I'm yeah. getting to make up. It's too many crimes. Going I on know. <laughs> too many city girls. Right. <laughs> many city girls you know she needs, crimes yeah, you asking thing. them for <laughs> birthday cash, birthday gifts? And you are elected official? Did you see That's the what we did at parties. Look at the picture she had up there. Oh, yeah. I saw those pictures. Yep. Respect and learn. But she needs money now because her HOA taking that 43K out. So now she ready to put her head down and try to learn. Yeah. And it... <laughs> The obstruction of public records line, I got to do some more research on that one because what I was understanding for what she mm -hmm. was trying to get a new software because she didn't want to use the same software mm -hmm. Emerson was mm -hmm. using. 
So I guess you know she sued the people. Right. <laughs> threatened to sue them, sent her sue letter. But um, hey bank. Hey. I'm like, are you even the one that's putting the records in the in this database? Like, or is your clerk doing? I mean, like right. Well, it ain't ain't Vicky. Uh, is Vicky on here with us? She was in the chat, but she's not up here on the panel. Oh, okay. I'm gonna say, well, she. We need a millennium point of view because I don't know, if, you know, from where I come from, you just don't act like this. <laughs> you just come in and learn the software. You train me on how to use this. Right. right. You're not coming in bringing in no new software. Not. Yeah, not you definitely new. aren't gonna be able to bring in new software. And I'm like, do you that at? <laughs> and then write a sue letter and talking about all this racial discrimination and they're not doing it because you're black i'm like come on sis are you even the one using the software right. like i'm pretty sure your clerk is the one entering this stuff in you're probably only going in there just to search and do research and you know ruin your in court you're not even in the software like that ma'am yeah she doesn't have, but whatever part that she has to play she doesn't want to learn I don't know. I, you know, I don't know who raised these people. <laughs> but it's an individual personality type. You know, huh? it's an individual personality type because when you got the salary, you didn't claim racism. Therefore, yeah, but and you're making the most. Okay, right. You, you are the top. I'm just talking about the power strip. Uh, the, just the the power hungry the of all the. Yeah, just as a collective, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, is, is this what we're doing now? Vicky Am I missing up here? But Vicky. she's a different age than Tiffany. Like, Tiffany is, a, you know, 40s, and she, you know, acting a fool. <laughs> <Yeah. clears throat> okay. Was that being summoned? Hey. Yes, yes hi. I am. I mean, you know, I may be too old fashioned, Vicky. I just, but, I just want to make sure I'm not thinking of the of yesteryear and all of that. And am I wrong about all of this? <laughs> What's the question? Is this what we doing now? Is is as see is is high high profile people that's the ones that's up in the upper ladder? Because used to be when you made it that far, you was a mentor to the rest of your work group or your people. Listen, I I don't okay. I'm most of my friends are older than me. And I've always mm -hmm. hung out with people who are older than me. Me too. Even when my when my mama, um, when I was with my mama, I hung mm -hmm. out with her and her friends. Mm -hmm. So I've always had a, kind of a, a more mature mindset. Mm -hmm. um, this is a millennial mindset now, though. Right. This is like the average millennial mindset of uh, people. They they feel like you know everything is owed to them. Um, they really don't have to work hard for them. And ever since, you know, pardon me, but ever since the the Black Lives Matter thing became a scapegoat for everything, mm -hmm. it it's kind of like it's we it's made us so we don't have to work as hard as the next part, the next woman. We we are supposed to reach back. That's what our elders taught us to reach back and help the next person. Um, but this is the millennial mindset. They used to get in everything fast, quick, in a hurry. And I, I, I'm new to this Christina lady. I never heard of, heard about her, but she's giving T.S. Madison to me. Is anybody else seeing that? <laughs> when you <laughs> said that, I couldn't unsee yep. it. <laughs> That's she, actually it was at first when I first saw her. Mm -hmm. That's, yep. That's who I thought it was when I saw her quickly. Hey, I saw her I'm like, well, what is T.S. doing up here? Because I know I got my mm -hmm. issues. I, I'm off and on with T.S. I even put my names up here this time. I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> I was driving. <laughs> I was driving. But, uh, you know, the fact that she didn't want to. I mean, like, just like Tiffany, y'all don't. Y'all really, if you saw that the prior um mayor or the prior supervisor or whatever the prior judge gave back half of their salary now okay i can understand for the first year maybe you you need to get your bearings together and you want to collect your full salary then the next year maybe it's like you know what once i get in i i do pledge to donate let me donate 25 percent of my salary or give back 25 percent of my salary um and with tiffany knowing that the area that she's in Mm -hmm. is in financial trouble for her to still take that full salary 
it's disgusting. And none of them do men, none of none of them do like a, a real mentorship. You're absolutely right. right. But this is the this is the these are the new age women. These are the the women that modern men are complaining about. These are the ones that um they have a like how do I put it? They have a really bad attitude. They don't need no man. But this is the, also the product of like bring, bringing in the welfare, telling women that they don't need men, breaking up the two family homes. So they've kind of a, developed this whole attitude amongst the black, black, black families and black women that we don't need to help anybody else. We just got to look out for ourselves. I don't know if anybody agrees with me or not. I do. I'm that way. That's why I agree because I'm that way. <laughs> Yeah, not not all the way, but partial. I'm somewhat that way, but not uh, not a hundred percent. I mean, I see my mama do it by herself, so I'm somewhat that way. But you know, every now and then, you do need help. You do, and you do want to help other people out. You do, you know. I'm sorry about that, April. Sorry to hear that. Sorry, Vicky. No, I didn't see what she. I didn't see what her comment said. I, she said my daughter was born in 1996. She would help me with my Facebook. She passed um, October 23rd. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm so sorry. Sorry for that. Um, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say. I just think it's. It just depends. Each, you know, each person is different. It just depends. You know, some of us are more giving by nature than others it just depends i know? i mean i think it's the culture that you were raised i mean you know what so a lot of times it's uh nature versus mm -hmm. nurture when you develop that attitude i think a mm -hmm. lot of times it's nature though um because i noticed that uh, you know people where i come from mm -hmm. um they it's, and it's just really certain certain little peak, little parts of my family, they give, but then they they looking out for you to give back even give back to them even more if they need it. If they see, you know, we talked about this before. If they see that you got seventy five dollars, they they expect forty two dollars and fifty cents mm -hmm. of that. <laughs> you know, so um, I think you know some people. I don't know, I, but I think a lot of it's culture though. It's it's just that get in where you fit in, and I'm gonna get it how I live it. As far as this this judge goes, judge she, Miss Ma'am is she's off the chain. I do think that uh, what T Buck said earlier, I was in and out because I was talking to somebody. Um, but when she said that when it's a person of color, we mm -hmm. have the spotlight and the magnifying glass on us, and we are all kind of lined up the same way like so when right. one person one person gets in there you are supposed to like you do a good job so the next person can jump in and be like okay well she did good and then she she re you know she recommended her and so she did good it, it that's i think why that's people don't recommend people oftentimes that is true yeah and unfortunately, I, I, we have to be recommended to get in some places. And even with her running for office, um, well, I don't know. She probably was appointed. She probably didn't run for office. She, she did. She, did. she ran she did. for office. She, she was voted in. Uh -huh. Well, see, even with that, you got to have a sponsor and you have to have people behind you. So my whole thing is, why do all this work to allow... Um, BS to bring it down mm -hmm. because right. where all of these ladies are at, trust me, they had to they had to walk a lot of steps to get to where they are. It didn't right. just happen overnight right. for them, you know. And right. so it's like, do you have any pride or do you like Miss Miss E said? Do you have a mm -hmm. sense of, of of accomplishment? Because right. when you throw everything away. For, for you know, for everything that you work so hard and sometimes your whole life for it just don't make sense for me. Make it make sense for me, it's all. Cause you, you have got to, no job at Burger King, you can go to and you can go to McDonald's and get enough right. job. You understand what I'm saying? Higher chips at stake. Mm -hmm. You got to think. A lot of us, just as a, in general, as a culture, um, black people, we we don't have like a, a real strong sense of emotional and uh, maturity and intelligence because we're kind of 
told from the from the get go to hold your emotions in, control your emotions. And when we flip out, we flip out. When we get angry, we don't know how to channel that into. A lot of times, we don't know how to channel it into a positive route, like a positive thing. We just kind of go off. Yeah. So you also have to kind of be have a to to be in these high positions. You have to kind of kind of be sort of narcissistic too, or have some narcissistic tendencies to think that you. You yourself have the ability to, to you know, kind of rule over or judge over an area or these things that have been in place for hundreds, hundreds of years, these laws and whatnot. So I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but you do have to kind of have a, a very high sense of confidence in yourself. And like I said, we don't get the opportunity to grow up emotionally and it, uh, we don't just get a chance to grow that emotional intelligence. See, we are taught, taught to that. Then which what taught what? I was taught like like people have told me that work with me like they can't tell when I'm upset. So I was taught emotion like to for my mom like I've never seen I never saw her um, come out of character. She had a certain way that she believed in carrying herself. And that's the way I saw her carry herself. And I, you know, did the same thing. And I did do the same thing professionally. Because I think I told you all about a situation. If it wasn't you all, it may have been somewhere else that I told about a situation when I moved to Florida. Someone that I worked with, how when I got there, I noticed that she was like in the lowest position. And so, but I didn't know her well enough to ask her why. And so once she had her evaluation done, like my first week there, she said she came in our office. We shared the office for a couple hours. She would be in our office. And she came in our office and she said, our supervisor, our, our um, and whatever her title was, told me the best thing I could do is to um, be around you. And that's what I'm going to do. And so I started teaching her different programs. So I did HR for the department. And so I started teaching her different programs. I taught her a different way to communicate because before what she would do is she would like just go off, like kind of how you're describing when she got upset with someone. And see, I, keep in mind, I came from a private banking, an executive floor prior to that. So that was not the way that, you know, you communicated in those arenas. So I taught her a different way and she went from the grade 35 that she was at and comfortable at. I encouraged her to apply for another position. She went to grade 55 wow. and, and changed the way that she communicated. Because, because that's called self-control. Yes. And, it is. And, and that's what you was taught. Right. And so they've had a certain amount of self-control. Yeah, because if they didn't, they wouldn't be where they at. So once again, where is it not clicking yet? Right. Because I don't you didn't see get this. I mean, you gotta. You could be narcissistic. Well, well not, not even narcissistic. Not even have narcissistic. tendencies. Have tendencies. Well, mm -hmm. I'm just saying to be in this position, like like any any type of public speaking position, right. you do have to have a certain level of confidence. Yeah, you have to right. have a certain level of speaking ability, that's and you right. have to learn how to conduct yourself in a certain way but this um uh, no knowledge uh this uh ad to me is like you treating a job like a like a marketing ad you know what i mean well again this is the, the it's the millennial society where instagram facebook you know po you make marketing yourself has become the new credit you know credibility so yeah. when I when I say like emotional, like I I was I was exposed to, to both ends of it. My mom was always very stoic. I really never knew when she was upset. My mom, when she got upset, when she got tired of spanking me, um, when I got too big, like we got to be the same height or whatever, and she got tired of spanking me, she went to the Goodwill and bought plates and broke the plates. That's when I knew not to fuck with her. I'm like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> so, that's when I'm like, okay, I'm going to stay in my room. I'm, I'm going to punish myself. So I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up in here, and just be be in this room, okay? Um, and my but my grandmother, who was also raised me, was the was a gangster, and she would flip out and she could stab somebody. And she, you know, if somebody cut her off, she would, you know, try to 
pull old ladies out the car and fight them and whatnot. So we just, we've, it's a cult. I believe it's cultural. I believe, and that's not just black culture. It's, it's our current culture. Um, this where you don't have to work as hard. Um, if you look at the school system, the current uh, way our school system is set up, they just pass kids through. And that's the way that it kind of is right now. And then we also have, we have diversity hires. They get rid of all of that. And also it goes to the top, you know, where this last guy that was in office, he didn't know anything either about the, about the job. And then you try to find out about the job, but it's all about fluff, smoke, and mirror. And oh, so he, he, all he like did was just, he barked. He barked. And that's why, that's what attracted. And that's what he's, they're doing. But, but this is what they're doing. They're barking. And they don't, I mean, I heard Tiffany is, you know, uh, doing some a few things. I don't know about these other two ladies. I don't know enough about them, but, you know, it's 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 like get you an attitude adjustment or go to therapy or do something to do what you got to do. If you're going to make it this far, go ahead and, you know. But none of them are doing it. that. And she's did, doing even worse because of the way that she did those people last week. And some of which I know personally that she um, withheld from the meeting. Mm-hmm. And that's why that meeting is going to be tomorrow. But mm -hmm. she's she's even worse because I I correspond with a particular a couple of news you know people, <laughs> and mm -hmm. so yeah no she's 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 worse as far as she's trying to do it things from a dictatorial standpoint you know where Tiffany yeah uh huh whereas yeah. Christina's kind of like you know just going based on emotion and she may not have been. I can't say mature enough because you have Judge Jasmine Twitty, who was the youngest judge, and she made history at the age of 25. And so, so I can't say that, you know, it's based on, because that maturity, like you were saying, Big, you know, I've, I've always had older friends. So maturity isn't, you know, always, of course, based by age, but she definitely lacks maturity common sense just common sense i mean let's just start there with basic common sense didn't y'all say she was on tv too though Which i one? was just getting ready to say that yeah she was uh, on, on a dating show called ready yep. to love oh yeah she's on ready to love uh-huh okay okay that's what all this is but about. this okay. was beforehand yeah this was yeah, before that yeah she just took it to the new job is what she did she still thinks she's on TV. That's what it is. So thank you for yes. that clarification. As far as Tiffany goes, um, she shouldn't have never been in the job. I, I think um, she should, like, as far as that supervisor position, she should have definitely never been in that job. The mayor she did position. well in that job, though. She did good in that job until she. Hell, she's doing horrible. She's stealing money, using their funds, too. Cross me. Yeah, but she knew how to do but, but she knew how to do the job. That's what no, she said. Not at all. I heard I heard some new stuff that I didn't wasn't aware oh, no, of. No, I was talking about the job she had prior to taking those two positions. Well, prior to taking those, she was a trustee and she was cursing out the previous mayor. Because they you could you and that's those but they guys, elected you, her though. But they elected her. But the team. reason they elected her was because they felt one well, only three thousand some people voted. So when she goes to the yeah. eighty something percent, you know, we have to start with those accurate numbers. And and, and she because once true. I once I kept posting that different places. If you notice, mm -hmm. after that is when Jason came out and he was like, "Let me post these numbers." Because she keeps saying this eighty something percent. And Jason saw I kept posting the actual numbers because I even posted it on their page. Because people were like, well, 80 something percent voted for. No, that's not what occurred. Plus, we talked about it on this channel. It was also during C-19. Right. And a lot of those mature folks weren't getting out like that. But they mm. gave her a chance because she convinced them, hey, y'all, get beside me um, and I'll give, you know, give me a chance and, you know, and that's what they did. Because if you listen to all of them, like, they all would tell you that Brittany didn't run on her ticket. Brittany and um, Eddie Edward, they were part of the previous ticket. And Brittany is the youngest of them all because she's in her 20s. But that's she was the... acting nice at that time, though, huh? I'm sorry? I yeah. Was she acting yeah. out nice and friendly at well, that time, right? As, yeah, I think she got the um, the power big head. 
Mm-hmm. You know what well, I'm that, saying? That, that's my whole point. I'm saying she has some self control when she won't have it, and then she get out of control when she, you know, like you said, when she's feeling bigger, but like the puff out of her chest allegedly. So you know but, what's so funny is, um, I, I was talking to a blogger who lives there. Well, she used to live there. She has loved ones there still. And at first she was saying it can't be this bad when she first started out talking about it. And then she had me up a couple times. Now, y'all, she totally, totally different impression. She <laughs> like, you know what? I just didn't see it. She says, in fact, because she's very optimistic. See, my mom used to worry that I would be so optimistic that I would not see things. So I get it. And she said, you know what? My best friend had to remind me. I went there to apply for a job. And it was Tiffany that gave me the nasty attitude. She says, my best friend said, why didn't you see it? Don't you remember? And she was like, wait, yes, now I remember that. Tiffany don't like nobody that's prettier than her, smarter than her, that can articulate better than her. And and I'm I'm being, and I'm being for real. Because she gets, you know, that she, she, that's why she's, you know, kind of leveled up in her, her looks. Um, She's, she's not an unattractive woman. When she Everybody holds her, call her, call her her Lil Wayne. She does look like Lil Wayne, so and she I just needs to accept it. Happy because I don't want nobody calling me no Lil. Wayne. She she just a, a, like a prettier version of Lil Wayne, but she just needs to accept it and move on, sis. You got a good Girl. wig, or so just move on. Um, she got thin skin though, because she got thin skin to be in the public. She got oh. a nice. She got a nice shape. I mean, no, take no, that. No, no. Take that you as a compliment. Right, but you said right no, to deal I'm talking with about, that. Yeah. I'm talking about. She can't take any. Uh, constructive or ugly criticism Correct. any type of criticism at all yeah and when I you're agree. running when you're when you're in office like that mm-hmm. you have to be able to answer to all other people and everyone all type of everyone and be able to deal with i'm not saying you have to take abuse right but you have to be able to have a listening ear and to be uh you know open-minded and, and it seemed like she's just very closed-minded yeah. And if it is the way it need to be the way she wanted it to be or that or else that's it, you know. My way or the highway. That she's part. got her um I I found out mm-hmm. um through another not the one that you because I be on the one that you go on uh, succeeding. Um I know, I see it. Yeah, there's a guy who's covering it too, and he Shay. says that what huh? Shay? No, uh, please actually, don't please name. yeah, yeah, oh, no, yeah. That's not the real name of the. Um, no, 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 no. It's okay. um. So she um. So what she was doing is, I think, with so she would charge one one place's card, like like let's say she charged Dol- um, yep. Dalton's yep. card, yeah, and then you know she didn't she didn't want to present the receipt, so she'd do a charge back there, mm-hmm. and then go charge mm-hmm. it on Thornton Township yep. credit card. And oh, then flip wow. flop back and forth. Yeah, because she oh, was using both of them even for the Vegas trip. That's why she didn't want to provide a uh, receipts to everybody, huh? Correct. She flipping mm. the money, and I've seen cause I, you know, I work for the bank, so I've seen customers flip hustle money like Correct. this. Correct. And I be reporting their ass too, like <laughs> you know. And we talked like, about that on this channel. We talked about her um using those funds and that's what their concern is and that's why they're asking for the receipts because their concern is that she's using those funds that are supposed to be for the general fund Mm -hmm. public assistance the needy Mm. to fund other things well what what about um did y'all see did y'all see the news clip where she wouldn't let those people into the media oh yeah some, was, I know, you know some people that were out there. Yes, I posted. Um, I posted a video. Yeah, awful. those people. Those people was in there talking cash. The ones that she did let in there, baby, oh, they let her have it. Oh, they and, and now they she, have yeah. put their time off. They were supposed to be getting uh three minutes. Three, she cut right. the time. Yeah, she gave minutes. a two minute. Yeah. Yep. That old cuck, uh, cuck ass police officer, police <laughs> chief, uh, sissy simp fool, high voice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, all right now. Nah. All right, you know, if you, if anybody claps, it's gonna be a disturbance. If anybody I'm gonna clear does, the room. <laughs> I'm gonna clear the room and oh oh sweet me ass. safety. Oh, but I'm so gonna clip, clap somebody to death. <laughs> like, I'm gonna right. clip where the old police chief left there. Yeah, and he's suing her. 
Yeah, for, wrong fired for, him. For, for allegedly for wrong for wrong for termination. Mm -hmm. And he <laughs> said that she was taking security from the I mean she was yeah from the police force. Yes. And he said that the crime increased because um yes. he didn't have enough people to cover the city because they sitting up there uh Correct. watching sleep. Yeah, yeah, watching your sleep. Mm -hmm. Correct. I, what I'm curious about too is that from what uh Kiana is the 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 high mm -hmm. yellow one, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Kiana said that they were getting migrants or illegal immigrants coming in. How can they afford that too? Now, I haven't heard a lot about a lot of um, migrants there. So they're not getting the bus, the buses that were no, being I dropped heard off. That. Mm -mm, I haven't okay, heard that. she did mention. I think she mentioned it about a month ago that that they were uh, something couldn't go into the budget, like they couldn't afford it in the budget because. Yeah, they definitely uh, can't afford it because they can't afford, you know, their own. And because, like, like, you know, that nice elderly lady, I felt so bad for her because I timed it, y'all. I had to time it because y'all know I'm petty. So I set my timer. And when that poor lady got just over a minute, he said, your time is up. And that's when the officer behind her ha had to tell Lacey, no, her time isn't up. She still had another I thought it was really, uh, first of all, why you have a police officer up there to intimidate the people? Intimidate, and you, you, could, yeah. you could tell he didn't really want to do it. Yep. He, he, and when that lady, uh, I guess her husband got, got uh, his life was taken by the police. Yep. Um, he tried to grab the microphone from her and she grabbed it, grabbed yep. it back. She <laughs> she said, it right back, like give me, give and me the one the table. And the and just to think, like, I had sent the lady that was there for the news, Regina, I had sent her the clip, as well as someone from um, Channel 5 News, who I have a contact. I had sent a couple of them, Channel 7, the clip from the Easter where she put the woman out because she didn't like her with the child's crying. Well, let me I explain mean, something to y'all. And horrible. Um, this is a public funded building. Mm -hmm. These are public funded yep. offices. Yep. And she is totally out of line. Oh, yeah. We're trying to lock the public out. Oh, you know, why did they even have to be locked out and be let in one at a time to hear that grit to hear her grievance? She was trying to kill time. She was oh, trying, yeah, to, kill she was trying time. to kill time because she was yeah. hoping to cancel the meeting. She was yep. hoping that the people outside would be so unruly. Right. That there were. Cause see, I had already called the state police, y'all. Like I live there, and I had asked them. I said, "I'm concerned about the people in Dalton. What happens if?" And they told me the protocol is if Dalton police feel it's a threat, they call the state police. So uh -huh. they're not calling the state police. Tells you that they did not feel it was a threat. Wow. Well, at the end of the day, she's she, she's scurrying the law by letting them in one by one. So they can't say that they haven't okay. been able to access the build. So absolutely. the building. Yep. So oh, what absolutely. she's trying to do is she thinks she's you know she's trying to put, play smart and she thinks she's slick or whatever. But it's all gonna backfire on her. What? And the whole thing about one thing one thing I know about them people when they get started investigating you, they'll 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 count everything against you. Oh yeah. Allegedly, and this don't help your case any because even if they decided they wanted to be nice to you once it's right. all said and done. They're not gonna. It's not gonna look highly favorable on you. I don't know where people get That's the idea true. of committing these crimes in broad day, alleged crimes <laughs> right. on, on camera, on, yeah, on camera, camera. Get, uh, on camera in broad daylight in everybody's damn face, All right. and think they're gonna get away with it and think it's okay because it's not gonna work out well for for any of them that's trying to do this. What Vicky called a new age of living. And yeah, I, I just it's it. I, I want our black sisters and brothers of power to mm -hmm. understand we can't move. We we are not at that. We're a minority. We're still a minority, and they're they're mm -hmm. pushing that. They're pushing our minority group smaller. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're making it less by you know making it more so so that we are procreating less and that we. You know, we have less resources and we have less education, and that's that's just it. It is what it is, and I'm not going, you know, go on a, a too much of a soapbox, but Brent, but it 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 is what it is. So when you get these positions of power, mm -hmm. you you don't have to you don't have to go outright and grandstand and stand up for the right. black folks. You can you can represent yourself as as a proud black person, 
and you could rep you don't have to code switch up but you can at least articulate yourself in a, in a way where it doesn't make all of us look right. it doesn't they don't marginalize all of us they don't they don't type type and typecast and stereotype all of us in the same way hold yourself higher just because you saw the 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 man the man that's lighter lighter skin than you with the straight hair do it doesn't mean that you have the ability to do it yet now if we get to we get we get bigger we get stronger we get smarter <clears throat> we might be able to be a little more corrupt but that means we have to work together and we need better examples <laughs> but for right now like when you get these positions of power <laughs> hold your yeah. Listen, I'm I'm just saying yeah, we can't. can't let the folks pay for your hair weave, your clothes, and that that is never gonna fly anywhere. And when I mean, you're doing I'm, that kind of blatant illegal stuff, you know what I mean? That just shows that you just aren't very smart. Exactly. So, um, so Biggie, this the this the new quietly quitting. Who is that? Me. This is me. I said what I said. I know what you said. This is the new what? I, the quiet, quitting. Mm -hmm. I understand. The, the, the quietly quitting. Oh, quietly quitting. Oh, um, no. That's, that's what this new concept is. No, they ain't trying to go nowhere. Them mm -hmm. girls think. Now, they don't want to go nowhere. They want their jobs. Well, I, I don't mm -hmm. think y'all got the right definition because I thought quietly quitting was you go to work and do as less as possible. No, quiet oh. queen is don't put in a yeah. resignation. Don't yeah, return. that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Don't put in a resignation, call in sick every day for it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> don't come back. That's quiet. Just don't <laughs> come back. Just keep keep using up all your time until mm -hmm. until, until it runs until they out. Call your number. Oh, okay. Well, that's what they basically doing though, because each one of them gonna quietly quit. It's just not gonna be on their own terms. Well, I don't think it's because because number one, it sounds like it sounds like T. S. Madison is. Oh, well, she uh, is. Let me, hold on, let me rephrase that. I mean, quietly get thrown out. Let's, let's that, allegedly, yes, allegedly. yes, allegedly. It sounds like T. S. Madison is. Uh, she's on her um, her you know, poop don't stink tour. I don't know. I didn't hear about this woman with the uh the short blonde hair. I didn't Missy, hear. I didn't. Uh, sent her to me. Um, and she What's is her here name? in Florida. She's a, a county commissioner in Orlando. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But they had a business in Florida. Oh, was, they had. Oh, yeah, they town. didn't play. <laughs> Y'all know, know what they remind me of? They remind what? me of uh, them people, like, allegedly, and in my opinion, you know, uh, when they date a dude, a dude mm -hmm. can't really get rid of them. Yes. <laughs> They seem like that type. Like, you know, it's a thin oh, line between oh, love and Oh, okay. I see what you mean. You know what? Yeah. I actually thought that I did think that with Tiffany, but you know, the um the newscaster, you know, the baby's dad, you know, he's married to the newscaster. And I mean, she she must have had a little infant at the time that he married her. Mm. Well, I <clears throat> I think with Tiffany, because no one's ever really brought up her her like what happened during her arrest record because it her arrest seems like something that's related to being a, a angry bitter you know uh -huh. yeah it because it, it what was it breaking and entering of a car or something yep, a car yep now yeah. you know who brought it up Ooh. was alexa's her mom brought it up because that's what they were doing is they were quietly protesting outside of her home with her pictures of her um arrest picture because she had called her daughter a criminal and that's why if you notice when she said she is a hf graduate the reason she stressed that is because hf is known to be a good school and so she knows where tiffany graduated so that's why she was stressing that uh you know with no problems and so that was kind of like how dare you you know what i mean it was more so like how dare you say this about and you called her a criminal and she doesn't have a record. You're the one with. That's why she mentioned that, you know, during that time. And they were just protesting with her picture outside. They pulled that picture of her arrest. Okay, well, I need she, to read Miss E comment. We got we stand corrected here. Miss E is a millennium and she Googled it. <laughs> I think I said what I said is correct. According to Google, mm -hmm. quiet quitting is when employees continue to put yep. in minimum amount of effort yep. they don't do to nothing fix extra. their jobs, mm -hmm. but don't go the extra mile. So mm -hmm. we stand corrected. See the Thank millennium. 
two. Well, we got it's, two in here. <laughs> I thought that's what we said because we said. No, I oh. said they quit without turning in a two weeks notice. Now, that's I what know. I thought. Oh. <clears throat> no, that's not what it is. That's yeah. Y'all said they was gonna, you know, quietly get out of there, but no, yeah. they quiet. Oh, when you quietly oh, oh, quit, quit, getting out quiet. Yeah, when you quietly quit, you just do the minimum amount of work. You do not go above and beyond the call of duty. Right, and, and that's why I said overtime. these two are not Hold doing on. quietly quitting because they. They are okay. loud and popping. No, I'm gonna tell you what they doing. All three of them allegedly are criminals because they're taking them people money. They're taking right. everybody money. It's all about the money. Yeah. And, well, I guess um, I'm the, the I'm, money, the power, the fortune, and the fame. And it ain't nothing, it ain't got nothing to do about nothing to do with the job and right. the job description. I must be quietly quitting then because like, <laughs> my probably my, <laughs> my job. <laughs> I I put in like you know, because because I all your secrets. <laughs> no, I'm not trying to. But my job is uh, I'm I'm one of those passionate people, and because I because I am you know, African American, they kind of mm -hmm. look at you like, oh gosh, here she goes again. And then, but everybody else stays quiet, and I'm like, there's problems. You know, that here's a here's a problem here. here you know, here, they just said out. They just rolled out a new computer system. I'm like, this is this is not working. Oh no, that's not quietly quitting. That's not quietly quitting. No, no. Oh, I wasn't. Not I wasn't. To speak over each other, please, because oh, I am getting complaints. Sorry about that. Um, please, I just wanted. Ahead, yeah, please. no. When I said like quietly quitting, I just I've I've got to the point where I'm just kind of like I'm not gonna say nothing at all, and I'm gonna do. You know, I'm gonna just gonna do my job. And do yeah, what they'll my... use you to be the fallout guy because they know right. you don't speak up. They'll be like, Vicky, you go say this and then say this, and then they'll sit there and won't back you up. <laughs> and that's exactly what's happened. And that's exactly what's happened. They have, uh, like, well, you know, people will look at me because I'm usually the first one to jump into meetings and say, Oh well, I I noticed this. Well, do you have examples? Oh yeah, so and so, so and so gave me this example, <laughs> and they just look at you crazy with big eyes, like, what are you talking about? Like, oh, okay. So, so, I'm, so, I just decided to do. I'm like, okay, if y'all don't want to hear my ideas, y'all think I'm, you know, I'm, I'm being too boisterous, and I'm in corporate America, and you guys just don't want to, you don't want to hear it. I'm just gonna do what my what my job title says, and that's it. That's called enough is enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It Maybe is. Well. Miss E said, keep my head down, do my job, and go home. <laughs> exactly. Because, you know, enough is enough is once you know, once you see the game and you mm -hmm. see that it's not changing, you decide not to use your intellectual property, your brain, on something that, and talking about something that you know they're not going to do anything about. Yeah, especially when I mean I, I can see I'm like okay I can see in a year this is gonna cost us fifteen million dollars like and and I can I can project this right now and they don't want to hear it they're looking at you like you know where's your degree at it's like I, I don't you know fucking degree to to, to see I, I you know I have the experience to see this I can do the calculations right now and I can show you everything that I've done and they're just looking at you like well. <laughs> Well, you're not, you know, your 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 position doesn't say CEO. Your position doesn't say, you know, vice president or president. So I'm just, I, I just backed off. So, I, but I'm just doing. I don't. I like, you know, I like my job. I don't. I'm not. I, but I'm like, I'm doing the bear. I'm just gonna do my job. Clock in, do my job, and and clock out and go home. And I'm not worried about friendships or relationships or anything like that. That's I sit on practice. my hands. So that I don't say anything. See, and not sit on your hands. <laughs> because they teach you that in sales, like to sit on your hands. So that way, mm -hmm. because you lose your bargaining power. And so, yeah, so I'll sit on my hands. So in the meetings, I won't say anything. However, if this particular person does, I will back her up, Vicky, so that she won't be out there by herself. Well, I worked for 20 years and I didn't really, I had probably one or two friends at my job and I found out. Like you said, uh, Vicky, it's best pra practice not to, you know, uh, raise your hand up in, in training or whatever. Just get what you're going to get. Because a lot of times, uh, especially the way corporate America is going now, it's mm -hmm. like they don't care about your ideals or anything. And a lot of times they'll use them and then you'll still be at the bottom and they'll hire somebody else, you know, to take your ideals and, and run with it. That's right. true. And, they will. And, 
and then the other employees will look at you like you popping off and you think you all of that. You know, they'll use it. That's what Miss E just said. Yep. That's what Miss E said in this and this tie back to the post office fight we talked about that we discussed mm -hmm. by me doing that at work. My coworker read it as if I think I'm all that and better right. than everyone else in the right. supervisor's pet. Right. That part. Right. Yeah, because I got called that also. So I, I had to back off and um just, you know, you have to sometimes you have to just put your head down and you know it's okay to be cordial to people, and that's what mm -hmm. I did. But for the most part, and I was in the Metroplex, I was in Dallas, and so those people, ooh, they, they you know, those, they, they, yeah, they woo off the chain, and you have all types of people that you work with, and so, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of times it's just best to do your job, and if you want to move up, find out what's on the board, and you know, and go, and network with the people that's in the place that mm -hmm. you're trying to go. That is yeah. so true because that's I was going to say going back to what Cecilia was saying about the person that she worked with. Cecilia, mm -hmm. was that an older lady or she was, okay. but not that much older. Not actually, probably. Yeah, she wasn't that much. She was older than me, but she wasn't okay. older. She just. Well, I was. So I was going I, to I say, can't. a lot of times with older ladies, mm -hmm. especially older black ladies, right. they have been through so much in personal and in, in professional right. that they are the ones that come on the job. They be grumpy. They do have attitudes. They're, right. do, they're quiet quitters. And then when the newer people do come in, they have ideas. They're fresh. They're right. energetic. And they do sometimes take that the wrong way. But you got to look at yourself like you like I forgot which one of y'all was saying it and move with the people that's moving like you're moving right because everyone is not just going to want to sit in the background some people do have great ideas they do like working on special projects they right. do like leading you know and not sitting in the back of the room but you do have like I think mm -hmm. it was I said what I said they said that but um you got to get with the group that's going where you going right yeah because you have to find a mentor and that's so important and that's what she although she was older than me i became her mentor i gave her a professional development book i mean mm -hmm. just taught her excel you know taught her different programs and it just increased her confidence so when that confidence level increased then everything else followed golly it seemed like miss e just li reliving my life because i had them same problems miss e People got upset because I walk a certain way. I walk funny. Well, everybody say I walk like a model, and I don't be trying to walk like a model. Girl, I do. Um, <laughs> I, I don't. It's just the way that I walk, you know. Yeah. You, <laughs> you do so, be trying to. You be yeah, well, you, and I have very long legs, so I stride when mm -hmm. you're about to say I stride when I walk. And so, see, I would have uh, been like, look at her. You is getting it. But I've never been that person in the workplace. I just never have. But yeah, know. That, you know, unfortunately, I've just always been that person no matter where I went. Right. And people, you know, they get up, they'll make a, they'll make a, They'll judge a book by its cover and don't even really know it's covered because once they get to know you, it's, right. especially at work, if you show a little another side of you, they'll be like, oh, you're nothing like what you look like. And I'm like, well, what the hell do that mean? Yeah, they do usually. Yeah, it. If, <laughs> yeah, if they, because you know what? You know how they do the fire drills? And when the fire guy came down, he was telling us, he looked at my shoes and he used them as an example. He said, okay, now you can't walk downstairs and these shoes, I said, well, I can't help if they all have on man shoes. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't, I didn't say something like that. I was joking, though, but I was joking. <laughs> oh, you know, he, everybody knew I was joking. They all, you know, I can't help it. You know, these, because I was the only person that had on heels. Mm -hmm. And that's how I was when I went to work. I always dressed up. And so, because I was taught to dress up when mm -hmm. you go to work. I was not taught to come to work like you just got out the bed. Right. And so, um, <laughs> Yeah, you know, I I would get in trouble if I went outside and my stuff wasn't right. You know, we didn't go outside with our hair not combed or no. ironed or anything. And so that's just how you know I, I am. And but people will, you know, they'll retaliate against you for what, however you carry yourself, especially they will. If you feel like you're doing better than them. So my thing was, whatever I could do to make them hate me more, then that's mm -hmm. what I did. Oh, so yeah, a new right. pair of heels. This, this, it's time. Yeah. I ain't trying to recycle them heels for about, what, four weeks? Because like, they right. be counting. Oh, she right. got brand new shoes on. She got another pair uh -huh. of okay. Yes, I so do. You want <laughs> you you something to talk about? I'll give you something to talk about. 
and when I bought my car, you know, I I was like one of the first people that bought a Benz at work, mm -hmm. right? And they were shocked. How did you buy that Benz? I'm like, well, hell, don't we work, both work the same job? Right. <laughs> Making the same money? Not about how much you make, it's about what you do with it. Right. But, you know, um, people that can't seem to function in in society well, well, they'll ostracize you for being able to do it. Right. Exactly. So, will. Yeah, yeah. And so don't let nobody, yeah, don't let, no, don't let nobody steal none of your joy. And if they hate you, give them a reason to hate you even more. <laughs> Some people will, they it. don't even need a reason. They wake get up, a, get them a reason to hate you even more, and just right. don't be, and, and go be all you can be, and and because you only get to live once, so go do your thing, baby. Just go oh. do your thing. It's all like they really about. talk when she wear her Jordans on Friday. Um, I mm -hmm. said what I said. <laughs> I wear a new, I wear a different pair of Jordans every, every Friday for a whole month. <laughs> So, so what usually happens is the way that people think I am, because I'm not a person that takes personal life into work. Yes. So I don't have work friends. Yes. I have associates, but I don't go to lunch. I don't really like going to lunch with people. And mm -hmm. people think because I'm, I appear to be social, that always shocks. In fact, that shocked my dad. Mm -hmm. And it's not that I've never gone to lunch with anyone. I just don't choose you try to, to go have to a lunch. separate. You try to have a separate. Yeah, uh, I, I do. You I try to have work balance and personal life balance. Correct. And even when I was in Florida, like I love everyone there and I still keep in touch with them. But we had a different relationship. We had a relationship outside of work, but no one at work knew. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's the corporate game too, because they assume that you have these different relationships. But what usually will happen is people will usually think I'm one way and they may not like me. And then they'll end up liking me because I may end up helping them inadvertently with something. Like for instance, um, part of my job was doing corporate fundraising. So it kind of brought like, people who did not usually get asked to work on projects those are the people I asked some of them and so that kind of made a lot of people start liking me they were like oh well she's not the way I thought you know and they had a different level of respect for me well I didn't care if they liked me or not <laughs> yep. I did my job Definitely. and it if you like me, you like me. If you don't, you don't. I don't like everybody, so I don't expect everybody to like me. And the people that did meet me once, I did let them see me, the other side of me, which is the side you guys get to see all the time. <laughs> and so they never knew I had a funny streak in me or, you know, a joking streak because mm -hmm. I care about stuff real serious. Right. And you have to be that way so that people won't try to run over you because, unfortunately, you know, you're going to meet, it's those type of people out there that want to try to take advantage of you in one way or the other. Rather, they can manipulate you to give, to do what they want you to do or to get what you have or to try to, you know, you never know what people's agendas are. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying everybody has one, but you just have to be careful and you have to have your guard up. And you just can't worry about what other people say or, or think or do because they're, <laughs> people are going to always have something to say about you. No matter if you're doing good, bad, or in between. Look and at so, your girl, Miss E. This is my time. <laughs> she talking about lunch. That <laughs> is my time. I don't want to spend my lunch time talking about office BS. I say that's my no, time. I don't. That part. Class. That part. And then care. she says the job is temporary, so I do not care. <laughs> right, I do not. I don't go to lunch no. with people. I just don't. I just don't invest my. And people just they just think that I'm. The total opposite. They're they're always like, "Oh, but you're this." No, you all don't know anything. Like how they'll say on our team calls, "Anyone ever have anything to share?" And if they think about it, I never share anything with them. Right. Well, Miss E is my daughter. Yep. Life Straight goes up. on. They it's talk about Jesus, so yeah. I know they're gonna yeah. talk about me. <laughs> that put an extra e, twist in the hip. Either she my daughter. Either Miss E is my daughter or my cousin for real, for real. So and people are talking about us even when we don't know, you know, because that's just, that's life. Child. You're not going to ever stop people from talking about, but what mm -hmm. I'm saying is that the way people perceive me usually 
they find they end up coming back to me and say, telling me that is they've well, learned that I'm different like that from part. the way that they assume that I am. Well, I, I feel like, like this. Sorry. If you stay true to who you are, it don't matter what they think because, like you said, once they once they meet you, then they'll see who you are, and you don't have to prove yourself. And that's what these three ladies need to know. Um, if you let your little light shine, everybody will see your little light. You don't have to go and and, and look at me and see me, you know, because yeah. whatever you do in life, it'll show up. If you got it, you got it. You know, it'll show up. That's and, their personalities, though. The, right. These individuals. That's why they're in that situation. <laughs> well, I understand that, but I'm saying they don't have to, though. Mm -hmm. If they were, yeah. if they were they really legit. The they got yeah. the job. Just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just do it. Just do the job. That's all you got to do. And Put the rest is all in line. But what if you got the job and you realized you couldn't do the job? Find it out, then. Find out how to do the job. Then you got to yeah. wiggle out of that job. You were you smart enough to put in extra work to try to learn what yeah. you need to learn, get the extra help, or try to find you something that you can do and resign. Mm -hmm. Because well, let, me, yeah. let me explain something to you about any job. You can go and apply and do just about any job you want to do, minus being a doctor or a nurse, because you got to have legal, you know, you got to have um, medical terms. But most jobs, if you go to school, oh, you know, most jobs you learn on the job anyway, right? Right, because you don't learn. Yeah, because it's not going to be what you learned in school in Florida. I think I told you all. I sat there. I said nothing in meetings. Be all I did was take notes because I knew nothing about contracting. And finally, right. one day when I said something, it was like paid learning. When I said something, the whole room was like, what? Tell us about Right. And so you can learn how to do anything if you put your mind to it. Now, certain jobs you do not, you got to have the basics like uh, being a lawyer, you know, you got to know the ethics and the rules and regulations of the court because everything got rules and regulations. Right. So any job you want to go to, go go get the handbook, find out the rules and regulations and hell, you'll get it. You keep yeah. doing anything, repeating it and you keep doing it every day. It may take you a day or two to get it. And some people it take uh, five days. Some people it take five uh two you know five months, but just learn how to do the job on the job. That's basically how I did every job because Absolutely. I didn't never really know any of the jobs that I you know I've done. I've done a, a variety of jobs, and right. all of them taught me how to do it. They do. And your piece of paper that you have, you know, that degree is just a piece of paper saying you're conditioned. You were conditioned enough to and you were meticulous enough and you stayed you stayed on the path long enough just to achieve this piece of paper that's all that is right that's, in most cases right especially yes. when you're going for business and you know not not when you're going for like a general education mm -hmm. you don't really get yes. anything pinpointed you don't you know you have so many different facets that you can use it as right you know, exactly you can learn how to do whatever you know because exactly. you got that piece of paper saying that you're teachable, and so you you're teachable on any job that you go you're to. You're trainable. Learn. You're trainable. That's right. right. You're trainable. Yeah, you're right. Interchangeable skills. Right. Okay, and guys. So that's all they had to do. Shit. They done got that for they should have learned. They should have got the book out and learned how to do it. That's true. Especially when you got a people around you also that can help you and assist right. you, help you get the way you go. Because you, when you're in that type of uh, position, you're only as good as your team. So you hire people around you that have the expertise that you may not have to help right. you be successful right. as well. Exactly. And I, probably, I probably could go be a mayor if I had a team because I and I wouldn't okay. even know how to do it. I would execute the job to everybody. Like you said, Lady T-Bug, I make sure I had everybody. Because that's right. what the president does. The president exactly. don't really know how to be the president. He got a team right. around him to execute right. every plan that he wants. And that's what you need. It's the right people because that's what I did. I went down that phone list, y'all. And I said, okay, I need the president's secretary because if I need X, Y, Z, I need someone from accounting because I need my checks. I need, so I went down the phone list and that's how I chose the people for my committee. Absolutely. Well, you Bill, ain't you in HR too? No, but I am in management. In management? I well, have employees. And that's, and that's all you got to do. If you know how to manage people, right? You, you can manage your way all through mm -hmm. this life. You can. <laughs> 
interchangeable skills. And my degree is in business administration. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when you yeah. said business, I'm like, yep, right. This is a little bit of this. Well, that's what my degree is in also. So that's okay. Yeah. Okay, let me read some of the comments and then we're going to wrap it up. Miss E, right? And I know who I am. I know I, I'm a hard worker and put my best foot forward every time I step in the office. And that's why they checking for you, boo. Right. April B like says, her. right, I, I got like that from my resting bitch face. <laughs> <laughs> Miss E said, T um, YouTube University, you no use. YouTube network, read the rules and regulations and old training materials. Exactly. Latoy, even if you have a degree, in most cases, you have to be trained for the job, mm -hmm. right? But sometimes when you have a degree, and especially in a certain concentration, they want you to come in with some type of knowledge and um, training may be limited. Yeah. They think you got to figure it out or you should already know basic things, but that's not the case. I have a permanent rest and be face. Vicky, no. <laughs> yep, because every company do things differently. They okay. do. Final thoughts? Yes, final thoughts, Vicky. <laughs> I came on early so I can get off at eight. That boy. <laughs> <laughs> so out of all the ladies that we discussed, I know <clears throat> I think Vicky and um succeeded Miss Regina, but I think Cecilia said she was familiar with her. Mm -hmm. Give me your final thoughts on the ladies. Or one or two or one, however, whomever. Who's going first? I'll go okay. first and I'll, I'll drop down. Okay, thank you, Vicky, for volunteering. Um, <laughs> as far as, uh, I don't, you know, I know that somebody came in the chat and said, I think it was April that said that, Tiffany has done some nice things. No, it was Lemon Tea. It was Lemon Oh, Lemon Tea. tea. Mm -hmm. Okay. She lives in so, um, Dalton. Mm -hmm. uh, so I I can respect her doing some nice activities for mm -hmm. the, the city or, you know, for the township or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but that does not account for the personal spending on this on the city and the township's budget you are making a very hefty income where <clears throat> you should be able to afford your PR, your right. uh, materials that you put, plaster your face all over. And that should be, I mean, I, I personally don't understand why these companies continue to work with this, with these cities or with the township and take out contracts with them or take out agreements with them if they know that there's trouble that they're not getting paid. That most other companies are not getting paid, I would, I would be, you know, kind of like leery about taking any contract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I understand she's doing, you know, but if I see, if we're seeing all these things outside of just these minor, like okay, maybe five or ten things, and then we're seeing a hundred other bad things. Yes, we're going to point out the the bad things because, man, right. you. And I and I recognize she's a first first term mayor, so she gets a little wiggle room and a little leeway. But you don't get this much leeway. You don't get this much wiggle room, and you have to understand that, uh, like she said, y'all black, y'all black folks. Yes, you're black. You're black folks, and the magnifying glass is on you. The scrutiny is on you from the moment you you get sworn into office. And unfortunately, until we start gaining more power and Obama didn't give us the power that we needed mm -hmm. until you start until you start, we start gaining power and we have more positions of power where we can show that we can operate and run, you know, cities and 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 towns and, and whatever together without being corrupt or showing any any sort of corruption. You have to keep your nose clean and your booty clean, too. Oh. And and as far as that judge goes, did she get she got a facelift, right? That was um commissioner. That yeah. was the commissioner, the one with the short hair, Commissioner yeah. Regina. Oh. Okay. All right. Well, I thought I was gonna make up for the T. S. Madison. She just looks like maybe no, that's T. S. Just Madison did not get a facelift. Mm -mm. Maybe that's just bad airbrush. I don't know. But she, ma'am, just calm it down. One same thing goes to her. Until you can, until we get to positions of power, um, 
multiple positions of power where you know people are doing everything right you must do everything as 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 right as you can do it you do not have the same we're not we're not second class citizens but you don't have the same benefit of the doubt that other ethnic groups have so I'm you know I'm I'm sorry it just is what it is we don't have this we don't get it and we have to and we, we have to work hard and we have to earn it and we have to work 10 times harder even if we may be 10 you know 15 times qualified you still have to work harder and you have to be clean and <clears throat> you can't always you cannot be a good old boy in these positions you have to be straight up and down in these positions so that's it and that's all thank you thank for letting you, me come Kiki. up I appreciate you coming up Who's next? I'll go next. Okay. So I'm gonna need. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> Why y'all gotta mute yourself? Y'all ain't gotta mute yourself. We don't know how to be quiet. We don't laugh. <laughs> Your laugh. Yeah. Is laugh. <laughs> yeah, cause I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need Kwame Brown, Clarence Thomas. Mm -hmm. And Andrew, call them to go somewhere and sit their ass down somewhere mm -hmm. and stop playing with these people money and time. Because at the end of the day, these games that they playing um, is, 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 is serious. Uh, they think it's cute and thinking I'm getting away with it and it's not working out for them at all. And um, these, these um, money crimes, these people are not going to forget about that. And you know y'all got this brown skin, so you know you know where all the brown skin people go. They're not gonna go, they're not gonna ride off in the sunset on no white horse and uh, live happily ever after. I don't think it's gonna work like that for none of them. And um, I don't know why they want to try to commit all these offenses in everybody's face, like they're not doing anything and um, thinking that they're gonna get away with all of this crap that they're pulling. Um, the, now this this judge and this um this uh mayor they definitely even the other lady she she what is she is she a judge too or what is she she's a, a commissioner um county commissioner mm -hmm, county commissioner yes yeah so you know I, I can judge her a little bit lighter than I can with these other two because these other two are in the spotlight and you know they're dealing with the public day in and day out this other lady probably just managing people underneath her and just you know fumbling the bag that way through the paperwork but you know tiffany and christina you know they was voted in the public trusted them to do the right thing and neither one of them are doing what they said that they were going to do and um it's going to make it very very hard um for any of uh, any of us to you know get to this uh status they're already trying to get rid of DEI, in, you know, in, in all these different states. Right. They're getting rid of. They're getting rid of um, American history in a lot of these states, so that you know these new people, these young people, won't have to you know know about history. They won't. If you don't know where you come from, you definitely ain't gonna know where you go, where you're trying to go, or where you, if you even get there. That's true. Uh, by hey, not, and it makes you naive to to really give you a false sense of security about life because it'll take you down some roads that you didn't have to go down if you just knew your history you know so it's very important and, it, and people need to wake up and we need to stop electing these fake people to be in office and uh, i think the citizens need to use google like miss e did when she verified my act my um, definition a while ago it's not hard to do Anybody that's going to be in the public, I, I, I don't know who's doing the vetting part process, and I don't even know if you have to vet people to be in the public eye. But I feel like somebody needs to put a spotlight on these people before they go and represent us because they're not making us look good at all. None of these, none of these people of color in office at this time, not too many of them are making us look good. And like I said, they're already trying to eliminate us, and this just this just helped the case, because all they're doing is sitting back and saying, "See, I told you you can't let them do nothing. I told you you couldn't let them be in power or be over money." And then that just you know they just put the next person down, 
it stops yep. the next person that's trying to go that's you trying to put climb us up. into being laborers you know that all we could do is be a laborer you know be told what to do and where to move something at and you know that's it that's all because they make the case in point that when we do get in charge look how we act we're not you know we don't know what to do with it and that's all i gotta say thank you so much for joining us on the panel today i said what i said well, you said what you said thank you for having me on the panel today i appreciate it all right sit seat and take us to the house you know, with um, I like the way that they quickly handled our girl in Florida. Mm -hmm. Don't have a lot to say with her because she was handled, but it was still despicable what she did. Right. I think that people are forgetting that serve. There, these two are forgetting the other two that they work for the people, right? And it's not that the people work for them. You know when. You think about the days of slavery. I look at new that movie, New Jack City, for real. And mm -hmm. when I look at the movie, New Jack City, and I think about that old, that mature, well-spoken gentleman that speaks at every meeting, he reminds me of the guy from New Jack City. And we have to demand more. We have to want more for ourselves. Like the one lady said, Sure, things are nice. Like I could drive around my town and all my roads are paved. Everything looked the same. It's not going to be one side of my town. Don't look no better than the other. We all have the ni same nice features. And when that lady said her side of town has trash, but yet this other side of town, then there's a problem. When you have $7 million deficit or possibly then there's a problem. Everything that you did is in vain because you didn't pay the people. So if you didn't pay the people, you didn't do anything. People worked for free. You made some phone calls, some people came and they did some work. And we have to want better. We have to do better. And we have to do better when we get these jobs. And I just have to say that I hope that this is a time where people who are looking at them are looking at these examples and they see them as someone where they see what not to do in the future. I agree. I because agree there's a gentleman here. He is the youngest mayor and he's, and then we have one guy that's 18. And so there are young people that are in, in these positions and you don't hear anything about the guy that's, you know, 20 I, he's like early 20s 25 maybe and the other person that say you don't hear anything about them and i hope that we will continue to elect qualified professionals and they will look at these individuals and they will know what not to do and i wish that village well with their meeting tomorrow i wish them to have peace, to have access, to have the same access that everyone has when they want to go to their facilities. Absolutely. I agree with everything y'all said. Are you done? Because I just cut I'm you done. off. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about that. I agree with everything the panelists said, everything, you know, the chat is saying. It's unfortunate, but we know the rules and the cards have always been stacked against us. So when we do get into a higher position where we could lead, we could show that we can do it, we can show that we are qualified for the job, that's what we need to focus on, especially when, like you said, you're in a public position. It's not about you. It's about the people. You know, you are in this position because the people voted you to be in the position so you cannot forget about the people you can, you have to reach back into the communities you have to be visible in the community in a positive way not a negative way in a positive way showing the people that you are for them they're going to support you when you're doing things to help the community and both of these like well all three of them because regina she to me, picked on the most vulnerable um, class of person, class people, which is disabled and elderly. Um, you 
you can't, you just cannot move like that. I don't know what they have within themselves that, you know, makes them think that they're entitled to other people's money or to break the law or to make poor choices and get a pat on the back. We are not going to get that because like I said, the rules, the laws have been stacked against us. They were for us. They were to hold us down. So when you do get in a position, remember that and put your best foot forward. Try to try to be, you know, a role model to everyone. But I don't know. They lost their way somewhere within, you know, becoming the per people that they are now. And it's unfortunate for us because, like I said, what I said, it's making it harder for the people that are coming behind us. It's crazy. But I'm going to end on that note. Oh, I see y'all with dropping on 100s and the, like facts down in the chat. Um, it's unfortunate, but, you know, that's why we keep bringing these topics up over here because we want to become knowledgeable about them. Hopefully, you know, people that are watching can take these conversation and maybe um, have it with their family or co-workers or whomever, church members. And once people become knowledgeable, we won't continue to be, you know, in this cycle. And I'm going to end it on that. You got to have moral compass going into the public service or politics. Thank you, Bank, giving her last thoughts from the chat. And that's going to be it, y'all. I'll Thank see y'all tomorrow. Thank y'all again for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Now I got to go see what's going on with Nesto. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Good night, everyone. And hopefully um, everyone will have a great week. Bye.